Welcome, fine folks of the internet. Um, I'm gonna be playing some game dev tycoon today. You, I mean, you probably already know that. You click the game. Um, company name. Hmm. Modern company. It's like Modern Family. If I knew any of those people's names, I'd name my character after that. So we're just gonna be Batman, because everybody likes Batman. If you don't like Batman, something's wrong with you. Everybody loves Batman. Okay, so you gotta click the screen and develop a game. And let's see, let's pick a topic first. Huh, cyberpunk adventure for whatever console that is. The G64, whatever. Cog Simulator 9000. So it sounds futuristic. Text-based. Because we're, we're making old games here. Okay, so what you do is you pick tasks and designate, like, the time allocation so that you know how like what's gonna be more important um, and you'll end up with bugs and you gain research and you can spend all your research points and your money and gain new junk let's let's improve the dialogues just a bit just a wee bit I would write terrible games wouldn't I just a wee bit hmm world design seems like it may be important well we're just gonna do that and then graphics will come second and then sound will just because that's minus so those are all hints that i earned from the game earlier just stuff that's like hey it might be a good idea if you do this stuff hey i've had no bugs so far oh there's a bug there's the bug removed i glanced away for half a second and boom it was gone let's research something like a new topic. Transport, alternate history, movies, or comedy. Everybody loves comedy. Research comedy. Adventure games work on the G64! Balls a bit short! Have seen better! Has its moments. Fives across boards. Better than ones across the board! Modern company. Oh yeah, I forgot that's what I named myself. I was Company Zilla last time. I should have been Company Zilla, or the Bat Company, since I'm Batman. Now I don't like my name. <laughs> We're gonna stay as Modern Company because I've already started. So you know. Uh, so yeah. Sell the units. Two thousand units were sold in the first week. Yay! We have eight fans. Eight of them. I know how to make comedy. Let's make something funny. We're gonna develop a new game. Can't name everything simulator, but I, I want to call it Joke Simulator. What am I gonna? I gonna. Hmm. George Carlin. Philosophy. God, I can't spell. Philosophy. Whatever. Extreme edition. No, I can't spell edition. Stream with exclamation points, because that's that's the way that works. It's a comedy game, um, a strategy game. You gotta make the audience laugh. Laugh or no laugh? Ha, 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 ha. Game make. Okay, world design doesn't need to be so so pristine, right? 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 I don't I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Whoosh, bitch. Reviews for George Carlin Philosophy Extreme came in. No! No! No. Nope. 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 No, you don't just. You just. You don't do that to George Carlin. Oh, cool. Okay, so now this is gonna have the story. You probably already. What would game dev tycoon? Yeah, date game dev tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your own gaming development stuff. Company, right near the beginning of the PC re revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build a dream company, create best games, like, best selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. I'm gonna become EA! Everybody loves EA, right? Before you can start your adventure, you have to gain your upcoming, give your upcoming company a name. I'm gonna be, I don't wanna be EA. We could make EA stand for something. Everybody Ass. <laughs> Real mature, Tyler. 
We have a chat. Okay, now we're gonna name it something creative. Egotistical assholes. Sorry, EA. I love The Sims. We're gonna blame not you. You're the pu you're the publishing company. Who's an egotistical asshole? I'm an egotistical asshole. Yeah. No. No, we're gonna give ourselves no hints. It's costing me money to just sit here and do nothing. Two weeks of just sitting here doing nothing. Two weeks of it. Two weeks. We're gonna make a UFO game. We're gonna make we're gonna make an adventure game. UFOs. Spinning discs of terror. Yes. Uh, let's turn the story quest down because gameplay is important. You know what an upcoming egotistical asshole dev tycoon needs? We chill out. Stop being such a dick all the time. So many bugs. There's so many bugs. Twenty so bugs. I don't need more less volume to the people. That's probably loud, I'm sorry. Yeah, less dial. I can't downgrade my room. I can't I'm not just gonna start flipping shit over. I mean I was trying to follow that it would turn me back up. Ugh, stupid faces and shit. Um I don't know what I need for this. We'll just do that. Because I, I don't know what I'm doing. You'd think with how often I played games that this stuff would make... Might maybe make sense to me. Graphics are important. UFOs are round and we're building on an old console. So we gotta make all the round pixels. I know pixels aren't round. Oh, why are there so many bugs in my game? Stop making bugs! Remove the bugs! Perfect. All bugs removed. Yeah, okay. Spinning Kits of Terror Review came in! It sucks! Woo! Ah! Throw it in the trash! Do it! It'll be worth money one day, it's a collectible. It's old. And it sucks! It'll be Battletoads! Wait, did Battletoads suck? I've never even played it. We're curious what egotistical assholes will deliver in the future. <laughs> We're gonna make a werewolf game because that makes sense. Werewolf action game for the the PC. No, it's not an action game. We're gonna do this. Is like marketed towards like gaming, right? So that's why you do it. I don't. I don't fucking know. Now, what do you name a werewolf game? Moonlight Murder Five. It's also a text based game. The other ones were books. But nobody knows that. It's too underground. It's so underground that it never existed. I'm in the negative! That is not good. Oh, don't need good dialogues. Level design, yeah, that's important. Artificial intelligence, it's all a game. They'll walk back and forth to jump on their heads. Mario style. We'll invent Mario later, but we're gonna call him something else. Yeah, yeah. Guess what I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna think about it. You guys guess. Too bad designing games isn't this easy. I tried to program a Gary's Mod game mode once and... Never again. Never again. New records across the bird. Egotistical assholes making games for the community. Oh, I'm in debt again. Okay, Moonlight Murder 5 reviews are coming in. Let's see how it did. It's fun at stages. Woo! It's okay! Yeah! Has seen better days! No, it says have. 
as have had had not good, not bad. It's all games. Saying it sucks. I can't program a thing. Why can't I make a game that's a good? All right. Well, we're gonna develop a new game for it because they're gonna be rare. We're gonna make an airplane game. We're gonna make a simulation airplane game for it, and it's gonna be called Crashing Simulator. Sim. Simulator. <laughs> a text-based flying game. No, that wouldn't make that wouldn't make a, any sense. None. Don't need good quests in an airplane simulator. Ah, somebody needs to invent the console with Mario already, so I can invent Mario before they invent Mario. I don't think they tell you about other games that get made in this game. That'd be kind of cool. Hmm. Dialogues in a plane simulator not important. Artificial intelligence. Just a wee bit important. But you want to look like a runway and like a place to go in the air and you don't want to hit a skybox. Flying plane simulator. Oh wait, it's crashing simulator, so just... But, I mean, those explosions into those worlds with, you know... I mean, what, what can you expect from the sound department? I'm one dude working out of my garage with, like, a really bad mic from the 1970s-ish? Whatever, whatever this time period is. We've achieved company sales record of over 10k units sold! Woo! We're in to monies. I'm making the money. I'm gonna make money and make a game and sell it because games are cool. Oh! Oh, Ninventen... Ninvento. Dinky King. Get rid, of, get rid of the bugs! So that my game can be the published. We'll wait, we'll wait for that one. Because that's only making me money, right? Oh, and now it's off the markets. And finish. So close to the... Oh! Oh! See you down there leveling it up. Develop... No, a little research. A new topic. Life. It's about falling. It's a crashing simulator. Short ones about exploding. I'm one dude. I can't program good explosions. Your review is uninspiring. It's one word and a period. There is as many periods in that as there are words. Oh, cool. So now I can contract stuff. So I could get money by doing other people's work because people are lazy. <coughs> We're going to develop a new game. <coughs> We're going to make a life game. We're going to make a life simulation game. It's not It's not The Sims. No, we got to pick something else that's also copyrighted. The Oblongs. It's like The Sims, except they speak English, and they, you know, some don't have arms or legs, some got stuff growing out of their places, some are oddly deformed. It's great. Good AI. You know, you don't want your, your oblongs to, you know, like, stand there and die. I'm never gonna remove pool letters. You know, I I wouldn't I wouldn't do that to my fan base. If you're gonna leave something that the fans really like it, why not expand on it? You could make The Sims Morbid Edition, and then you know people could just have their pools with no ladders and build walls around them too. Yeah, okay. Slider bar adjuster attack form of no clue what you're doing. Remove bugs. Oh, games makey finish excels a lot. Yay, new record in technology. And it's gonna have all the lure of ups. Well, all except the two that leveled up beforehand. Hey, here's them. Autobots. The first reviews of the new game. Yay! It's okay! Life and simulation is a great combo. 
it has seen better. Has its moments. Have have seen better. Not has seen better. My game hasn't seen better. Your game can't see. Let's let's research. I have fifty. Generate research. Let's make a game engine. I have fifty-three. God damn it, like right as I'm like, I wanna make a game for it. No. No. You're making an engine. You have to develop the engine now. Or no, I'm unlocking the ability to make engines. And when you get a million dollars, you continue thusward. Research. Develop a new game. We're gonna play platform. 80k. 80k. That's not fair. All right, wait. Can I? Can I finish one of these contract works? So I was doing them earlier, and yeah, so you have to earn 12 and 10 in three weeks, and pay money if you fail. So I need one that's, like, that'd be easy, er, five weeks to complete, three weeks to complete that. Hmm. Yeah, sure. I did it! Yay, money! That wasn't a lot of money. Hmm. I have five weeks to do this, so we're gonna do that one. Wood hire again. Yeah. Yeah, y'all would. Y'all would. Y'all would, cause I make it a game. I make it a good game. If acquire the life and we're gonna make, hmm. Okay, so Mario is an action adventure game. Is it more action or is it more adventure? Pretty adventurous. It's nice linear, so it's, just, it's an action game. There's lots of jumping on Koopas once you get to like the late, late levels. Fantasy, because you know it's it's Mario. So did you guys guess what I was gonna call him? Yeah, I was gonna call him Luigi. Yeah, I know, I know. Stop yelling at me. I'm not that original. But Luigi is so cute. He's adorable. I'm. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, man. She is not going well. That is not good. Dick. Okay, so we don't need very good dialogues. Yeah, I can kind of blow. The level design is important. Because it's an action game and you want to be like. Kabling, kabling, kabling. We're collecting all those rings! So that we can save Bowser from the princess, because she is quite quite fucked in the head. She's always inviting people to have her cake and then just getting kidnapped. Who does that? Oh my god. I'm losing the monies. I'm losing the monies. Remove the bugs quick. You don't have a lot of times. Oh man. Uh, so I have to agree, or going bankrupt means you lose the game, so... Let's hope Luigi is a hit with all of the kids. Two new records! That's great! Means that people will be jumping on a many a hedgehog. Yeah, I'm mixing Sonic and Mario. Last time I played this I invented Pokemon, and I made it into Digimon. But I know that they're digital and pocket monster, respectively. I know a little more than when I was 10, or how old I was when the hell it came out. It's been a while. So, I have a little money, because I got a grant from the bank, so we're gonna make an engine. Oh, this would be really expensive. Expensive? Oh, yes, an expensive engine. GG! GG! Uh, how do, you, how do you do G in sign language? A, B, C, D, E, F, G? G, G? G, G times two? I, I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Six! 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 And seven! Music! Beast! I know the lyrics. Internet. I do it to be funny. Quit asking, quit, quit asking questions. 
It's, it's not a question. It's an acceptance. Of the ways. Of the waves? I, I, I don't know. But Luigi is making me the cash money. Him and his adorable purple outfit. And his dark, dark, deep, handsome voice. It's me. Luigi. How's it going, Mario? Oh, I'm not doing anything. Just sitting here talking. Uh, we're going to make an engine since now I have money. 2D graphics with a linear story and save game engine. The dot E X E engine. You make it. You make that engine. Luigi made me money. Hey, people loved him. I should make a sequel called Sonic and Mario. I must develop a new game on the Dotty XE's engine for the system that the people like. <laughs> Fan fantasy. <laughs> Flatulence fantasy. <laughs> Everyone will love flatulence fantasy. RPGs. RPGs. <laughs> RPGs. <laughs> Egotistical assholes. <laughs> My company. So rude. I'm a dick. Hi guys. I'm a dick. I need to be Morgan Freeman. Not very good at it. Sound sound a little like Bane. I didn't even. Why didn't I read that? Sitting here just talking. I hope people love it. Nice, nice. People like farting fantasy. Yeah, you best love that. That the. I knew fantasy and RPG would be a good combination. Just money me. I need to grow my company to a million dollar because I have not enough money. Did I wish I had this much money? Oh yes, ah uh, yes. Develop up a new game, and we must pick a new platform. Oh, I can't pick that other platform. I'm gonna make another PC game. PC games never die. That's the important thing. I guess I get take royalties for it forever. I, I don't know. It's like things with publishing later, and I don't know. We're gonna make. No, no, we're not gonna make a game. We need to research some new topics. Superheroes. Everybody loves superheroes. Wait, is that a DeLorean? It looks like a DeLorean in the front of it. Time travel. Um, so yeah, apparently you can make this game in this game and it's it's a it's a thing. An achievement thingy. A thing I'll aim. Get game maker simulator simulator. Two. I was gonna put the third on there, but no. Three. Yeah. A business game of the simulation type. The PC. With the dot .exe engine. With uh, 2D graphics. This is all sounding very familiar. I hope it's a hit on the market. We have Mickey the Gamey Game. Uh, bank taking my money. Because they gave me a loan. Because that's the way banks work. So complain about it for some reason. Nobody likes losing money. You review well. Yeah. Very well. You get a 10. Yeah. It, it, it's at least an 8. It's always an 8. You know, it's like 10 million eights. It's... Eat. 
dick! Why would you say that? Seven. It's not an eight. <sighs> Gotta research things in between. A medieval game. Make medieval engineers. In in the nineties. Generate more game reports for Ouija. Ouija, how'd you do? You and your your purple outfit kill all those hedgehogs with your flamethrower. Yeah, I keep adding details. Now keep keep generating reports. Game Maker Simulator. I'm surprised I didn't get an achievement for that. Cause it was like a business simulator the game name. Maybe it had to be named Game Dev Tycoon. Gary's mod. Everybody loves Gary's mod. But on like an old school console. Cause that makes sense. And it's not gonna have the, even the right title. It's gonna be an RPG about superheroes. Cause those exist. Gary's mod is now a game about superheroes. So you are pretty super in Gary's mod. You have this gun and you know you can fly and spawn an infinite amount of things from out of nowhere. Well, I guess you, you can spawn them with a tool gun. Is that how your character does that? Like when you hold the Q menu, is he like holding up the tool gun? You're like, just, just let me scroll through this thing, pick the right one. You're all like, click. He's like, <laughs> spawns a billion. That's the way Gary's mod works, by the way. Just, just go into it, spawn things. Hey, I have 800 fans. I didn't even know that. Oh, why is my office so hot then? Ah, oh, oh, I shouldn't have put all of the fans on the outside of this garage. It's a terrible idea. I should we think this is design? And the guy keeps notes on like what's good, what's bad. If he does the reports, right? I kind of don't want to move into an office. It seems like a lot of work managing so many people. This should sell decently, right? It's, it's up there. It's got the. It's got numbers. Do people like Gary's mod? I like Gary's mod. Gary's mod's great. Beautiful. Gary's mod is beautiful. You just spawn a melon, and then you put a melon on top of that melon, and then you put a melon on that melon, and then you make it into a snowman melon. And then, um... You attach a rope. And then you yeah, attach a thruster, and then you turn your friend's model to transparent, and you make it invisible so that he can kill you all the time easily. And you're like, fuck! Gary's mod. Mm, yes! Research! There's a lot of waiting in this game. It's just wait. Wait a little. Wait some more. And you wait. I, I don't know. I'm just researching things. Because Gary's mod is hitting the shelves. People are like, buy it. Buy it now. Game 9. That's a terrible name for a game. Alright, so a fantasy action PC game that is mature. We're going to make something, something brutal. We're going to make Attack on Titan. Tick. Yeah. Game. Yeah! I, I attack on Titan to game. <laughs> uh, so silly. So silly. When it comes to developing a new game for mature audience, we can hear you. Sure. Thank you for your time. I'll pop a sister for the next week. Why, thank you, sir. I love the hype about the game that I'm creating by myself. Hype 12, ooh. Early risks. Yeah, let's make it good. It's doom. Except with maneuver gear, so you're like, but it's like a 2D platformer. It's awesome. It's basically Mario, but with, you know, you gotta jump on the necks of Titans. And they're like, rah, 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 and then they jump at you, and then they land on the ground, and you're just gonna, it's great. I'm gonna make a mod of that. That'd be fucking awesome. It's some some sort of game. You, you billionaire. Yeah. So if you have one million cash, you'll be able to move to the next level. All right. Sounds like a lot, but don't worry. Once you're here, we're in this game. You will get this amount of money. 
I wonder how I, I might just stay in this office forever. I'll see you in Vienna Gear. Ah, oh, competing with the, the, the Nintendo. We're gonna research more things. And we're gonna research open world because everybody loves an open world in a game. I can do my game history. Yay! People are reviewing Attack on Titan the game. Fantasy and action is a great combo. I mean, you just bounce off their necks. You're hitting them with blades. You're like. Dude, I literally made six pictures for the game. Who knew it'd be such a hit? I'm awesome. All I had to do was go like this with the pictures. Like Mario did. With Goombas. That's what they did with the Goombas. Way back in the day. Way back in time. That's how the escapists works too. Thinking about it. The like little dudes are just there like I wish I owned that. Watch Jacksepticeye play so much of it. It looks so fun. I'm just sitting here talking. Ah, okay, they I'm just sitting here just being dumb. <sighs> Gonna research more stuff. Game tutorials in game. People like to know how to play a game, especially a complicated game. Like, except Meyer games. He always puts like full encyclopedias in that shit. Cause if you wanna learn about your game, motherfucker, you get every detail. A little convoluted, but it's still great. It's still great in a way. If you like reading. So let's develop a new game. We're gonna make an E for everyone game. And we only have the one engine. Everybody likes this thing. I had the money for it. I didn't even look. God, that's a bad idea. Don't do that. Don't purchase unless you have the money. Well, it's a game, so I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, if I go bankrupt doing it, I mean, game over. Revolver's the game. Because names, names of games, gaming name, make name, name, name. Slatter bar, I just attack and I don't know what I'm doing, but I hope it makes me money. The G64 is dying, along with all the games I made for it. <gasps> I'm releasing this game with bugs. I'm releasing this game with bugs. Uh, I don't. I've never done this before. Are be people are gonna laugh at me, dude. That's what you—that's what you get for clicking so soon. Let's start generating our hearts because research points. Revolvers McGee getting reviews. What a waste of time! <laughs> waste of money, wasting everything and everything. Everything. It's uninspiring. And disappointing. Oh, 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 man. That was really bad. Maybe I should not have done that. What sells? Yeah. Oh, I'm lo I lose fans for it. So that company went for a bankruptcy. It sucks to be you. History in their making. Oh, you're just sitting here doing nothing, and I'm dancing. Cause I'm just sitting here thinking that's me doing something. Generate more game reports. Revolver's Mickey, let's figure out why this thing sucks so bad. What to make thingy do? Craft. Research new topic. Aw. Uh, horror games. Yes, people like to be scared. They're like, oh yeah, I'm there's this. <laughs> what do you think Five Nights at Freddy's is selling so well? Selling millions of copies. Cause it's scary. Cause people are like, oh, something's gonna attack me. Close the door. I I didn't read that. Why do I, I, I why am I reading these things? Superhero and RPG is good combination. World design seems to be very important to this type of game. Okay. These are good things to have M's knowing. Keep generating game reports. 
Information is good. City school spy. City, I guess. Oops. Make make a some sim, some sort of Sim City clone and give it a funky name. Cause the funky name is the way to go. We're gonna make a simulation game for cities. Because why not just you know copy things that exist? Because that that totally works. Right? Right? Gun Construction Makerzilla 9000. Everything has to have a 9000 in it. Because 9000 makes everything better. Don't question it. This is true. This is true. Dialogues, level design, artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence seems important. Dialogues can F off. Level design is just kind of important. You know. You wanna, you wanna put the thing you make a Tron in there? Construction makers of 9,000! I'll be right back. Oh, tens! Nine. I want a tens across the board, isn't that an achievement? Decline! Hey, I made a million dollars. No, I'm not moving yet. I don't even know what game I made. Keep researching topics. Cyberpunk! <laughs> Cyberpunk is cool. Yay, I sold over 100k units. Yay, I'm selling the games. Selling the games is too good for the companies. <sighs> I'm innovating things! Hey, innovation! Cyberpunk. Cyberpunk is innovating, right? It's like future esque. Future before the future was cool. Like future hipster. Hipster future. What am I? I have two million dollar. Two million dollar. That's why moving to an office is important not to do, in my opinion. You would just program all your games at home and make all your money by yourself. Because money. Because money can buy things. You have lots of money, you can buy things for everyone. You get charity, be generous and junk. Holy shit! The money maker! That engine seems really cheap in comparison to how much money I have now. Let's make that engine! Wait, no, I, wa I want to make the engine! Throw in all the things I know how to do. It'll be buggy. It'll be delicious. It'll be moist. We'll call it the moist engine. Moist engine. Yay. Holy 135 makes Azillas waiting. It's a thing. Patience. Patience in gaming is important. Why do I keep making the Bane noises today? I haven't even seen that Batman movie yet. Congratulations, you've made night name yourself and saved a lot of crowd. Well, if you want to grow the company further, then move into a new office the next day. We found the perfect office student in Technology Park. No, I don't want to move. I like the garage. The garage is so comfortable and warm, and I, I buy the DeLorean. Who wouldn't want a DeLorean in their office? Plus, I have a pong on the walls. And a Mickey Mouse accent. Woohoo! Um. Yay, the Moist Engine is complete. We must have heard up a new game under Moist Engine. We're gonna call it... Wet Simulator. And what game do you make out of that name? Especially with what I have. Um... Life... Fantasy, a game about being wet. Um... Adventure game. A wet adventure game. For the thing that looks like the Sega. On our moist engine. <laughs> oh, I can only pick. 3D graphics. It's water. You need to be on that. Blub, blub, blub. It's, it's wet. Re really good everything. Because. People are gonna be like, what am I doing? I'm water. And you're gonna be like, yeah, blub around. People are like, what the fuck are you talking about? Dude, go 
left. And then you'd be like, dude, you see what you're talking about? This game is awesome. And then you're like, dude, wait until you go right. Dude, no, wait, I'm gonna hold left for a little while. Dude, stop. Wait, no, no, stop. No, stop. Dude, you're gonna kill the No! No! And he falls off the map. Because the map's not that big. Um. Splash. Sploosh. Yeah, good enough. You know, we don't need we don't need great sounds. Just some sounds. Fuck removal complete. Okay, yeah, we get we get it. Okay, Re release the game. Release the Kraken. I'm trying to say, Kraken end game. Focus on world design. Say this. Serve this game very well. Yay! Later for days. Gaming for days! Fantasy Adventure is a great combo! Yay! Eights across the board! It's very enjoyable. Make a sports game. Hmm. Need to make a sports game. Guess what sports game I'm gonna make? I already know. I, I thought of it like the second it said. So, so sports thought of it. Was wondering, hmm, should I do another guessy thingy? I'm gonna. Because. I want you guys to guess. Not that I think people will. Why don't you tell me what, what you thought in the comments? Down there. Like way down there. Like I'm up in like the, this part of the screen. This the roof. Congratulations, you make a. They really should the Take the office! You knew what it. You want the office. What am I? How do we do this? Dude, no. Hey. No. I don't want I don't want to buy the office. Stop trying to give me an office. Casual games. Clickety click click I'm typing out code. I'm gonna make a game and it's gonna smell like mold. But that's okay, cause it's just a game. This game is called Wit Simulator, and that's why it's most like mold. I I don't know what I didn't even make that relation until I started singing. Singing. Develop. I feel like I can't. We're gonna make a new game on the Moist Engine, and we're gonna call it Blood uh, Blood Ocean. <laughs> Mature topic. Oh wait, we were gonna make a sports game, but that's hilarious. We're totally gonna make this mm, horror game genre. A casual horror game. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> um, hmm, what goes good with horror? Horror simulation. Hmm. <laughs> Don't need that. <laughs> I can go to. <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, horror action. PC, because PC games never die. You want to make Blood Ocean. You got to make it, like, scary. You're like, 2D running around, and you're like, oh, no, this is scary. Okay, so it doesn't need a great story. It just needs to be like, <laughs> monsters and stuff. Engine always is important, it seems to me. There are probably some games that's not so important. Though. The simpler ones. Do you think you make phone apps eventually in this game? Play station, play station, station, play station, play station CD drive, and one day they break up. <laughs> Turn sour, yeah, see. I see. Mean, I played this part before. I got to the point where I had another company, and then I had like a million dollars, and I was like, yeah, I'm gonna develop a game, and then it was like, you're out of money! I was like, no, I don't need loans, I can keep going. You lose. Game over. But somebody like hacked my company too at one point. This is weird. Research something. A government game. Oh, martial arts. Everybody loves punching people. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. 
Blood Ocean. Very good. Action games work well on the PC. GG. 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 Ready for days. Okay. These are getting. These reviews are getting really stale and repetitive. Oh, I can make facey fist punch game now. I can make a martial arts game. Casual game. Casual punch feast, feasty base punch attack. The moist engine works really well. So, okay, um, hmm. I'm gonna murder people and they're gonna be all like Game Boy Connect they murder attack each other. How would you do that? What would you call that? Martial arts. Face Fister Extreme. Everything is extreme and also Metalocalypse referenced, so. Really good 2D graphics. Not really bad 3D graphics, really good 2D graphics. We don't need we don't need quests at all. We just a good gameplay and an engine. So it's like, yeah, this is fun. Game Game Boy attack right out on the face. Hey, half a million dollars on that console that's no longer supported. Don't need to get dialogues. The AI. The level ties are in Kinsama, because it's in the platform. So you like, whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. Is this good? Can I do it? I'm really pumping these games out. Blood Ocean. First Fister King. You have sex with cake. True Metalocalypse lyrics quotes right there. They really want me to go into an office. Like, dude, to move into an office would be so much better. I have two, almost, 2.9, almost 3 million dollars by myself. Who needs an office when you can make that much money alone? <sighs> I want tens. Games the makey. Cool. So I just like, can I just like keep putting things there? Immediately develop a new game. Make a, make a, new, a new young game. A business game for kids. School game for kids. Casual school game for kids. Cause kids don't like losing, and game kids like that. And give it the best engine ever. And learn number you you a book. It's <laughs> ah. the best one named yet. I like it. Kind of game that your mom forces on you. I didn't have those. I don't know what kind of stuff to put in to a school kids book game. Ah, why, why you send me encrypted message? That's that random. That's really strange, man. This is special option. If you want to play war games, then transfer. Yeah. Okay. Sure. I just got robbed. That happened to me last time, and I didn't comply, and I didn't really do anything. When I said no, call him a bluff. I'm gorable. Kids like sounds. Sound good. You did good. Bling 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 bling. Uh. He's like, no, I got, I got to get this one last technology point in this. Kids got to learn how to spell correctly. Based on the title, adults are going to think I'm fucking dumb. And it's supposed to be an ironic title. I don't think they're going to get it, Tyler. It's space for kids. <laughs> Parents will get it. They'll get it when they're adults. 
Oh, I can make multiplayer games now. Well, I have to research it. I'm gonna do that right away because that is like seven point numero one million. It's a game for kids where they learnify them's a book. Better than fives. Better than ones. Yeah, I think I'll move offices now. So that you guys can see. Before I end the video. So yeah. New office. You can now hire people. So we'll make we'll make a few more games before I'm done. Um but we're gonna make it with a person. So we're gonna I have plenty of money, so I can just sit here for a while and just stuff. So Oh, I have to train this guy, my guy, to able to manage staff. Yeah. Yay! I can now use this thing so I can add a budget to hiring a person. So we're gonna do that and we're gonna give them complex algorithms to look at. We want somebody who's smart. So we like it. What do these numbers mean to you? Like, this slide doesn't mean shit. You're hired! This, this guy is way cheaper and his skills are way better. Research. New topic. Hacking government spy. Let me just do a spy. And I should be able to train this guy with a welcome training thing. So I can be like, welcome to the company. Please get set in and comfortable. We will be making games. Follow your person in the recent and invite to extend this formal invitation to purchase a big game. It's known as Games 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 as G3. Cool. I don't see where contact these options, so see there. Cool. I haven't done game reports in a while, so we're gonna do a whole bunch of these. Oh, excuse me. Sorry, internet. My bad. Jeez. Okay, you generate the report for this. And then me, we're gonna train me. Just, we're gonna start just going down the line slowly, but we need to start a new game project so we have some revenue. Oh, I, they're both busy. So busy. So let's develop a new game. We're gonna make a mature game because we just got a new building and that's badass. Make a mature. Oh, wait, didn't I just do that? Okay, new new plan of attack. What haven't I done yet? make a rhythm game. No, no. I was gonna make a sports game earlier. Did you guys guess what it was? Oh, oh, you're close, but no, you're way off. Curling! You know, the Winter winter Olympics, they, they toss the stone down the thing and push broom in front of it, kind of to the side, try and slow it down, knock into a target thingy. I probably didn't need to explain that. You probably got. You probably. You guys probably know what curling is. A casual sports game. For this platform. Oh yes, acquire the license. The moist engine. Super low 3D graphics. Seven point one k fans. I think I can afford that. A medium booth at the game convention. This that's never happened to me before. That's kind of cool. Really flattering. I'd like. I'd like that. So it's like I could, we really like your game. The <laughs> Morgan Freeman voice again. We really like your game, Tyler. I, Morgan Freeman, would like to narrate the next game that you create. It will be called The Manly Parable Two. The happenstance. It will be magnificent. Whatever. I don't know what I'm doing. Ugh. Yay! Thousands of people MR visiting me. Tens of thousands of people.
<laughs> Learn to mummify you a book is down there. Yeah. That seems like like most of my fans, doesn't it? 71k. A lot of people showed up to that convention. <gasps> I just released it with a bug. Whoops. If you curl the A button too fast with a turbo, you'll, you'll, you'll knock that little puck all over the place. The game has physics. It is built on a water engine. Oh, the play system. This has like an in-depth history, fake history of, like the real history of gaming, which is really cool. The developers are very nice on this. Oh, whoops. People don't like curling very much. All you do is hit A. Socks. Sequels. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, I don't want to fire him. He's doing stuff I can't see behind this. And I don't want to hire another person because people are expensive. Okay, so now I can take up publishing contracts. And I have to make games that fit their criteria. So like a city action game, medieval of any genre, airplane of any genre, hacking simulator. Let's make um, a mature medieval game. I can do that. Mature game, media, medieval. What goes good with medieval? Let's hope so. Barbarian attack. Yeah, no edition. <laughs> oh, if you watch my medieval engineers edition or video, you you'll, you'll know why I put that in there. We're gonna put a lot of a lot of money into this, but it's gonna be a two D game. Go hit things. Yay, new systems. We're making the games. Look, my computers are getting better and stuff. Oh, uh, that's cool. This game is neat. I wish it showed the outside. It shows like the outside from the windows, but like. The void of nothingness where I exist, where I can spy on and control these people. That is quite the workload. Let's hire a person. I'm losing money. Oh man. Maybe I shouldn't be hiring a person. We're doing this person. This person's cheap. You're cheap, mister. You get all the workload, buddy. More contract work. Oh, for medium-sized contracts. So medium-sized contracts, you like have to organize those people onto the specific tax tasks, like I did. That's why I hired this extra dude to go along with this extra this extra dude. I didn't even give this guy like a training regimen. He's just working on that game. Oh, can I? Not? Well, whatever. We're gonna train all these folks anyway. New record, yeah. People like it when you face eat slice chop with the barbarians. Alright. Let's generate a game report for curling. Let's see why it sucks so bad. And we're gonna train these folks some more. Do people like smashing things with the barbarian attack? <laughs> yeah! No! I made 
curling a mature game? Whoops! <laughs> curling with knife stabs. <laughs> uh, you generate more game reports. Cool. I think that this this let's see where the ends of this sales and MLN this video. Because this is going really well. It's made a ton of sales. I've sold 1.4 million units already. Rank 36. That doesn't seem bad. 38. It's dropping rank. I don't... I lost money for something. People are just... People stealing our murder. That is not safe. That's not fair. Jerks. It's my money. Made two million dollars. Nice. Hmm. Well, thanks for watching, folks. If you liked the video, feel free to. Oh, look! New game convention. I, I want to save this and keep doing videos on it. Just small talk of stand where we can show our marketing materials and very impressive. Okay, so I have 17k fans. What the? What? Okay. It's really expensive. I want this booth. Because it's not so expensive. It's half a million dollars still. Well, alright. Thanks for watching. <laughs>